Hey guys, what's up? Z here with Z Reviews Tech and I have a device that is rarely seen anymore and that is a big 10.1 inch tablet. Even the tablet review channels barely review tablets this size anymore because nobody is producing them. They are truly almost dead, but Tech Class doesn't think so. They have released the Tech Class T10 Master, a tablet that at first glance looks pretty unremarkable, but the more I look into the specs, it's actually a really complete device. So a quick rundown, 10.1 inch 2560 by 1600 resolution, MTK8176, 4 gigs of RAM, and an 8000 mAh battery. And before we jump right in, you could help this video out a lot by hitting that like button. Thank you so much. The tablet is made out of metal and feels very high quality, no doubt. The nice matte metal back with the polished chamfered metal edges, which also makes me think that the Wi-Fi performance could be poor because of the metal, but we will have to see later. The tablet is actually pretty compact for its size, my initial thought is to make everything bezel-less, but that's actually not a good idea for such a big tablet, because then you have nowhere to hold on. In landscape mode, the side bezels are pretty nice and small with only the top and bottom bezels. The tablet feels fairly light as well for such a big tablet, weighing in just under half a kilo, and the weight is pretty distributed as well. There is a fingerprint sensor on the back and it's actually pretty easy to reach in landscape mode, but I would still rather have it on the front. So as far as Android tablets go, this one is actually pretty good in terms of connectivity, headphone jack, micro SD card slot, micro HDMI, and micro USB. I was hoping for USB-C, but this is not bad already. The screen here is pretty good. It's a panel made by Sharp and it has a high 2560 by 1600 resolution, which is actually higher than the big iPad Air, and it's laminated also, which basically means less reflections when using it outside. Stuff looks pretty good and I really enjoy watching TV, reading comics, and browsing the web on this. The screen is still slightly less saturated than what I see on other AMOLED displays, but it's still good. Max brightness tops out at around 400 nits, which is awesome for a tablet, but hard to see in direct sunlight still. We also have a couple of modes here, such as reading mode, which turns to black and white like e-ink, blue light mode, which reduces the amount of blue light, but I don't really use either. So we have stereo speakers, one on each side of the tablet, and a hi-fi chipset inside, the same one used in all the Yumi Digi phones. The audio quality is decent but not amazing, definitely not as good as my Mi Pad 3 but good enough. Volume is very loud, I can hear it in pretty much any situation. Audio quality is average, there's not a lot of bass, there is a little bit, and the biggest thing is that at max volume there is some distortion but you turn it down and the distortion disappears. So battery life is actually okay. It could definitely be better, but it's good enough for one day of use. I looped a local video file on the tablet at 200 nits of brightness and the tablet died after 9 hours and 22 minutes. Not bad for just an 8000 mAh battery. I did another mixed use battery test and I got about 6 hours of screen on time with 25% left. This was Chrome, YouTube, Comics, and Reddit. It's awesome to see stock Android on a tablet, I absolutely love it. But I have to say stock Android looks a little sparse on such a big 10.1 inch screen. Not the tablet's fault in any way, more Android's fault here. The general use is fairly fast for stock Android, but it's noticeably slower than lower res tablets or phone. There is some stutter here and there that is noticeable. I do see a bit of stutter when opening big apps as well, but that's about it. Multitasking is great, and so is gaming performance as well. I can play pretty much any game I want, but I did have issues playing Need for Speed as the entire screen would turn black, and I think that is an issue with the video card not having enough memory. The fingerprint sensor here is not that great. It's not that fast, but pretty accurate, and so I won't be using it here. Wi-Fi performance is actually one of the fastest I've seen in a tablet, but Wi-Fi range is pretty poor in this tablet. There is also a GPS, but the GPS is pretty slow to get a lock. Finally, the cameras. The 13 megapixel back camera is actually not completely horrible, which surprised me. Picture and good lighting come with fair amount of detail and saturation. Low light is horrible, of course. Please don't use this at wedding or important events. I hate it so much. So to conclude, the Teclas T10 Master is a pretty complete tablet without many weak areas, the main one being Wi-Fi range. Now, the range here is pretty bad, but other than that, this is a good tablet. Unfortunately, I don't see the use case for large 10.1 inch tablets anymore. It's either 8 inch iPad minis or 8.4 inch Samsung tablets, and those are about as big as you want a tablet to get, otherwise you might as well get a convertible or a 12 inch laptop. 
Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Likes and subs would definitely be appreciated. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.